This is the National Video Journalist Network. Welcome to My Long Island TV. From Manhasset to Montauk, we've traveled our communities to bring you the following events. I'm your host, Waldo Cabrera. My Long Island TV starts now. I had a vision of creating a facility like this about 10 years ago. Worked very diligently to try to come up with the right strategies, the right doctors. Everything that we do is on the cutting edge of what's available in healthcare. So, you know, you might you walk around and you might see a hyperbaric oxygen chamber or a transcranial magnetic stimulator uh, or a Senex machine and say, you know, what are these things? And, and actually what they are are treatment modalities that are used in certain situations, but we found that we can use them off-label to actually help many, many conditions. For instance, hyperbaric oxygen is very effective and it has been found in the literature and the research to be very effective for people with traumatic brain injury or even sports concussions. We came together because we had a, a goal and a dream of something better for children on the spectrum and how we can work as a team to really benefit the patient and the family. The one thing I can say about this place is that we have the benefit of working as a team all under one roof so that the patient and the family are not making individual appointments, various different locations, difficulties in their own schedule and trying to schedule all of that. And we can work together and, and speak directly so that we can um, have the best efficacious treatment for the child. For a good seven years, I have been to probably every single center, at least in Suffolk County, for OT, for PT, for physical therapy, but never in one place. I'm a big fan of research. Ever since my daughter was diagnosed at the age of two and she's nine years old right now, I needed a place that was going to look at the child primary and then the business was going to be secondary and I found it here. These treatments, the Senex treatments, and a few of the other things that they're doing with sight sound, stimulation, with the, the GI tract, new nutrition, that's been around forever. It's just having Dr. Mike and the rest of the staff being able to put it together, and before they do that, find all of the underlying factors to the problem to be able to come up with a plan of action to be able to try to fix that problem or alleviate that problem. I'd like to present this citation to Dr. Mike. On behalf of Nassau County, we are proud of you. We wish you the best of luck. And we're always going to be here with you. And we're going to support you in any way we can. What we're looking to do is help patients make lifestyle changes. We're talking heavily about nutrition, exercise programs, and then we have them doing therapies to actually resolve their underlying conditions. If you have chronic pain and you take anti-inflammatory medication or you take a painkiller, you can probably see a pretty immediate response and you'll see a reduction in pain. What we're trying to do is figure out why you have the pain. Success obviously is for the patient to be healthy, for the patient to improve in, in their lab findings and, and even on their testing. Integrative medicine is what we practice, which is integrating you know, the functional piece and the traditional model. So we're not adverse to using medication. You're looking elsewhere, stop. I'm telling you right now. Stop. This is the place that you need to be. I'm doing this for my daughter, but I'm also doing it for all the other ASD families that are out there that don't know that there is hope and it exists. And it exists here in this particular center.